YouTube, Bill, Bill in the Hills. <clears throat> Remember the last video I made uh, on the cooking the canteen set, and I was talking to you about replacing the tins. Um, just that very day, uh, coming back home, I had, of course, packed everything back up, and somehow one of my water bottles had leaked a little bit, and uh, it got my couple of my cans wet in my pack. Well, they seem to be doing that an awful lot. And I can remember in the past some old shoe polish cans and plumber grease cans and stuff like that that's, uh, you know, I've had set up for a while that I just can't get apart. Well, that's not something that I want to happen to me out there. And I'm not bashing out toy cans or anything like that. Uh, I just thought I'd try to come up with something a little bit better that I knew wouldn't rust up. So what I've done today... Now, I didn't show you from the beginning, um, I, but what I've got here is a little brass can. Now, I've been working on this uh, for about an hour, maybe two. Now, I'm going to see if I can get a little close-up there. See, I've just bent uh, a piece of brass metal. Now, I'm still working on it. Um, I've laid out my pattern and cut it and these are like three quarters of an inch high and that's uh, three by about four can and the lid the same way and right now I'm working on it and kind of wanted to show you just a little bit what I found out about working this brass I mean unlike some other stuff uh, whenever you you know lay it on the table or in the vise or something you can pound it straighter well this brass metal is so soft that and you can see once it's together I haven't decided uh, if I'm going to solder or or braise these corners I may not even do anything I may just continue doing what I'm doing but once you've got it shaped and these are bent then you just kind of hold it now brass is pliable now this doing that number just don't seem to, to do it. I like to take my time and I know you can't really see that there but uh, the more I just work on this lid around through here the more it shapes and if it's a little tight then I can work on the bottom and it's just with just little pressure points up and down the metal and up and down the metal. I guess it's similar to, to foraging uh, forging, uh, you know, types of metal. But I'm just going to keep working around this thing just like that, and I'm going to keep working this lid on until I think it's as tight as I want it to be. Uh, hopefully it's where it'll kind of halfway snap shut. So, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> go ahead and sign off right now, and I'm going to work on this some, and I'm going to keep you guys posted, or I'm just going to keep the video going. just depends on how long that, uh, it takes to, to do it but what I've got I hope you guys like it it's going to be a nice little brass tin that's not going to rust up and it's going to be for my tender can and uh, so I'm kind of getting away from the metal cans uh, they're just a little bit too much trouble a little bit tedious now this guy here I almost guarantee as thick as it is um, I could probably stand on it and not worry about it denting it's definitely not going to rust up and if I really, really wanted to, I could probably make a small hole just up underneath this lid once this is done to make a char can out of it. But that's not really what I want. I want something to keep my punk wood in uh, just my little tender can. So I'm going to i let you know what's going on. Okay. After just a, a few minutes of working on this thing. Now, this is just some <clears throat> brass sheeting. <coughs> excuse me, um, that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was just, uh, so it's not no commercial grade or anything like, like that. This is just uh, the thickest little sheet they had. It was like $7 for a little small, uh, I'm not even sure what size sheet, but it was enough to, to do this and there's extra. So I've just shaped this, uh, just taking my time, uh, cut me a pattern out and bent it. And like I said, just gradually, <clears throat> now like I was saying, I, I don't think it works good really to put it down on something solid. I like to fill it 
and just taps here and there and just keep working around it keep folding down the top uh, brass bends pretty easy so you eventually come up with a nice little good grip edge now you don't even necessarily have to file this stuff because brass is so soft um, just keep working on those corners round them off <clears throat> now, I'm not going to put hinges or anything on this tin I like to the bell take the lid away from the can, kind of get it out of the way. But I am going to do something pretty special to it. Remember we talked uh, when I was showing you the tender can idea, uh, when I would mentioned that it got hot using it. Well, I'm going to put some leather on the outside of this. <clears throat> I'm going to fasten it somehow and wrap it around and fasten the lid to the leather maybe. Um, and then pull the leather back around and you know to where I can strap it shut instead of doing a little brass cleat or anything like that or a brass hinge. Now I'm going to keep uh, I've rolled out the bottom. I'm going to keep pounding on the top and uh, keep working at it a minute. Well, I've worked on it. I'm going to see about some your all's opinion here um, before I you know try to do too much changing. Now that guy's got a nice little seal uh, on it. I could probably keep pounding on it. It is, you know, nice pliable uh, brass. Um, I don't know if I need to, to heat it to make it any better, but it seems to be working fine just tapping it. So I've got a nice little brass tin there. It's not going to rust up on me. Now, I haven't decided, and I've got some leather here, uh, if I want to make a pouch to put my tender can in. Um, if I make a nice long deep pouch here, what I can do is roll the top down. Um, once I've uh, sealed uh, the, you know, the leather and oil, I can roll the top down uh, on the bag and make it pretty well waterproof. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to do that or just make a nice little pocket for this, for this guy uh, to fold it up on there. Maybe wrap it completely over and use the leather as a hinge. Uh, but remember me telling you about the can getting hot. So it'd really be nice to have some leather uh, on here. I could probably easily rivet it, you know, right straight to the can. Similar to the way I've done my little sewing pouch here uh, with these nice little brats. I could probably fold that up and uh, rivet it to the bottom of my can all the way around. Just like that right there and maybe the the same way on the lid or not so that's kind of on my mind is about wrapping the bottom of the can with leather riveting it on so that it's there and i can hold the can when i'm blowing my tenders and like i said i may uh ponder on going ahead and bringing this around the top and uh somehow doing a little buckle on this side that way that uh, maybe the lid will be attached to the can and the leather will work as a hinge so that's something I'm working on there, and uh, I'll keep him posted on that. I'll not get that done to, today, but uh, maybe here in the next couple days.